max programming and in this video we are going to learn about iframes now uh, a question will arise in your mind that what are iframes okay you don't know what are iframes it's a new word to us so we are going to explore it so the very first thing that iframe is an html tag okay the very first thing that you need to know and it's an html tag which represents another html file okay, so for example if you create an iframe tag so what you do is you embed another html file in your page okay so basically if you create an iframe tag you need some attributes okay? now if i create the iframe tag with that emit kind of thing so the iframe element represents a nested browsing context okay so a uh, another page is nested or embedded in your page okay so we have the source attribute and then we have the frame border attribute okay now the very first thing source attribute in this attribute you have to specify the source of your file that you are going to pick up okay so we don't have any other html file here so we're going to create one i'm going to call it new.html there we go okay so in this file i'm just going to simply hit this exclamatory mark and then hit tab or enter which will give us this whole document okay ready so we don't need to type everything so don't worry about this and these meta tags we'll discuss them later but let's keep them now no need for the to change the title now let's not focus on the high text so we can minimize this okay so as you can see the head tag is minimized now let's focus on the body tag in this uh, html uh, document i want something like uh, first of all i want an h1 tag with the text as um, heading okay and then i want span tag okay let's create a p tag with the text as paragraph okay so that's it let's save this file okay now let's go back to webpage.html that we had now, the new.html file is in the same directory where we have that webpage.html okay so what we'll do is in the source attribute we'll say dot slash new.html that's it as you can see we have this file in our source attribute and don't worry about the stream border attribute okay let it be zero now when i save this file if we view this file this will be simply a heading and a paragraph okay but if we just see this okay as you can see this is, this looks pretty much like uh, we have web page.html okay? but we do not have anything like this we don't have any h1 tag we don't have any p tag in web page.html all we have is in this new.html okay so now if i want i can create a paragraph with dummy text okay so you can just say lorem inside a paragraph now if you are using visual studio code you're gonna get this output wait a minute. so you're gonna get this paragraph okay when you press enter or tab so lorem ipsum is just a dummy paragraph okay so don't worry about the meaning i also don't know the meaning so it's a dummy paragraph which is used often for coding so when i press enter you're gonna get this so if you are in vs code or any other good editors like sublime text or atom then you are gonna have this i don't know about atom but yes you'll have you'll be having some in sublime text this paragraph so when i save this you're gonna see we have this scroll bar right here so this represents that hey you're using another embedded page inside this web page so if i create a lorem ipsum if i just copy this whole paragraph okay and if i go to web page.html inside if i create this if i paste let me copy it so if i paste it and if i save it you're gonna see that we have this paragraph right here but this paragraph and this paragraph both are different okay both are on different web pages so if you open uh, the new.html you're gonna get the same 
Now, if you want to increase the width, you can also do so for the iframe. Let me remove this paragraph, okay? You don't want it. So, if you want, you can uh, increase the width. So, we say width attribute that we've learned before. So, it will be in pixels. So, you can see 200. If I save it, you can see the width has decreased, okay? And if I remove this width attribute, you're gonna see it will be increased. Okay, so initially it was not 200. Okay, initially I don't know how much it was. So if you create the width attribute, and if I say 1000, then it's gonna give me 1000 pixels. Okay, so we don't need the scroll bar also because the paragraph completes right here. Okay, if I want to increase the paragraph length, what I can do is I'm just gonna replace it with lorem and then I can say amount of words that I want. I want 500 words. So I can say 500 and boom. As you can see, this pretty long paragraph. If I save it, we need a scroll bar. Okay, to now uh, this kind of uh, feature like uh, lorem 500 and this is inside Emmet. Emmet is a plugin. Okay, so it's it comes by default in VS Code. So uh, in other editors like Sublime, you will just get lorem and a small paragraph but if you want the amount of words okay unlimited amount of words you can get so with vs code okay so as you can see now we need the scroll bar okay if i increase the width to you know 100 percent if i say 100 percent i think it will be full okay so it will cover the whole web page so then also we need the scroll bar because it's a web page inside a web page it's, it's embedded inside our own web page okay and it's covering 100 percent of space but then also the paragraph is too long okay so that's it for this new dot html let's close it out now what if you want an iframe now uh, we have seen many a times that uh, we have maps embedded so they are actually iframes they are actually iframe tags so let's do that let's you can just go to google maps and search for london or any other uh, country or anything you want i'm searching for london it's a good place so what you can do is after searching it you can just click on share so you'll get all the sharing options facebook twitter all the other stuff send a link you can copy the link but what do we want is embed map okay so when you click here this map will be embedded you don't want medium size you can uh, tell it your size so i want the small size i can say small this is the iframe tag okay so you can take copy html you can see the iframe written right here okay so we have the iframe tag right here so i can say copy html now this iframe tag is copied let's go back in the body and let's paste it will be long now this in this source attribute we get this long url okay so this url is the url to that uh, map okay so width is given 400 because we have selected that small height is given 300 so these are the attributes okay and then allow full screen is also an attribute okay we don't want this style and allow who's fit so let's remove them so if i save this you're gonna see on our own web page we have this okay so like this you have seen in many web pages i know that many of you have seen so if you want to increase the size you can just go in here and mess around with the width and the height if i want the width to be 100 percent i can do so so 100 percent Let's save this. Let's go back, and you can see it's it's taking up the hundred percent width, okay, the width of the whole web page, and I can say hundred percent height also. Then what it will do is it will cover the whole web page. Boom. Okay, so we don't have uh, any thing to uh, scroll down or scroll up because it's the whole web page. Okay, it's hundred percent width, hundred percent height so that's what iframes are i showed you a very good example with the maps so you can embed maps with the help of that iframe tag that we just saw you can embed your own html pages 
That's it. It's just like a link, but you know, it does not redirect to another web page. It shows you a page, it embeds that page inside your own page. So that's it for iframes. Thanks for watching. <music>